Welcome to the Zen Zone. Of course, first off, right off the bat, really want to say thank you to the sponsors, RevRides. Get your EX or EXN pre-ordered through RevRides. Confirmation that they're on the way. That's always a good thing, knowing that an EUC you have pre-ordered is on the way. And if you don't pre-order it, they're going to be here soon. So nothing wrong with waiting till it's in stock. I'm excited to get perhaps the EXN after Chooch won with it. Absolutely I tried it, he let me try his EXN, it was my first time riding it, and I definitely see how it's a bit more, I think it has more advantages than the Sherman in racing, specifically on this type of track. There may be tracks that the Sherman has advantages on, but on this particular track, I would say that the EXN dominated. Although Michael, who's in this heat, this is the first heat of the day. So after this heat would go the loser's bracket, and before this heat was the time trials. The time trials determine your position in this heat right here. So I was fourth place or fifth place in the time trials. Fifth place, I think, in the time trials. So I'm last seed here. And then Chooch was fourth or third in the time trials. So he's the third seed here. And then the Fletcher. And then Pluto is number one with his veteran Sherman. He, that's him going out right now in the camouflage. He has the Conta Scoot tire on his veteran Sherman. And I talk a little bit of trash to him, and I couldn't feel bad for it. I was like, you know, crash and burn. Something for, I got from a movie I used to watch when I was kidding, you know, crash and burn. And uh, I was like, you're going down, Michael. And he did go down in this race, so I kind of feel bad. But I also went off the track. This is an awkward race. This was an awkward race. This was the first heat of the day. Didn't really know what to expect uh, from Pluto or the Fletcher, man. Because we knew our times were tight. All of our times, with the exception of Pluto and the camouflage, he had a 127. The rest of us were like 129 and 130. So 131. All really tight times. That's one second gap. So that's a little bit of, you know, you, we want to be cautious, but at the same time, we want to give it our all. You're going to see we're going to take off really fast here at the start. I'm going to build up too, momentum, too much momentum, and I'm going to hit a bump and go off-road and lose, lose the track, dis get disqualified essentially because I skipped the lane. Looking back, I wish I could, uh, if I had thought about it, my first instincts were just to get off the track after I skipped a lane, you know, like I'm probably disqualified, but I could have crossed back over to where I exit the track in a safe way, waited till it was safe and still finished, which is what I would do if I could do it again. But you know, this was my second race ever and I never had a situation where I'd come off the track before. You're going to see I zoom in when I hit a bump and that bump uh, turns into the wobbles and I knew I wasn't strong enough to control the wobbles at that speed So I found the easiest way to exit and did so safely and it's my camera You'll see the insta go to dropping off. Here we go. Here we go This is a nice acceleration from Pluto He takes the lead right away with his kind scoot tire the Fletcher and his army jump shoot He has some amazing pads on his Sherman You're probably gonna see those pads soon and we got Chooch on the EX in. Look at how tight he takes that turn and accelerates fast. All of these guys do. I can't keep up with all any of these guys on the acceleration, so that's okay. I'm gonna get some nice drone shots here. I clearly do not hit this turn well and kind of wobble too wide, but I'm still not too far behind, but I know I need to pick up the speed, and that's what I do. I, I accelerate a bit too much here, start building up a bit mo too much momentum. On. I'm like, man, I need to catch up. I'm following two. This is only a one lap heat. Only one lap. I have to make it happen. Hit a bump. Start wobbling. Have to exit the track. There goes my Insta go to. Found it later, thankfully. <laughs> uh, so I exit the track right here. I'm like, dang. And I, I look to see if it's safe to get back on. I'm like, maybe I can just get some drone shots of the guys passing by. That's what I do. Put the drone on them. Get some nice shots of Chooch and Michael. Chooch in the lead. Passing Michael. I'm like, man. So, so right here, I could have just cross back and redone the track instead i you know awkwardly kind of progressed i skipped some people right here is essentially what i did um <laughs> and then right here michael goes down i catch the end of it goes down hard on the sherman he accelerated too hard into the turn and cut out that's the problem with being a bigger guy on a smaller motor you know a 2500 watt motor if he had the ex that wouldn't have happened and he wouldn't have been scraping so much pedals I'm not saying i won this race um, because he got right back on and finished right after. So if I had went back to my original position, he would have placed ahead of me, I'm pretty sure. Um, I may not have... Fletcher also went off, and I think he crashed harder. So um, it would have been my rival, the Fletcher, and myself battling it out. 
Guys, also right here, both me and Michael, I think, make an error. We're off the track. We should not be going so fast. We should be lower speeds. And I'm distracted, kind of looking at my drone. And right here, he's going to whip by me. And this could have been bad right here. That would have, that would have taken me out. He would have... He would have probably killed me. He's a big dude, you know? And that was my fault for kind of crossing and also his fault for going too fast. I think he was trying to rush to the uh, stand, but it was an awesome race. I'm super thankful for everything that happened. And the main event is coming. Oh, and Loser's Bracket's coming up next. And then the main event.